Do you want an effective way to communicate important information to your colleagues about a customer? Maybe alerting them to how to deal with a customer when they stumble across their record in Goldmine. Well, using the record alert feature in Goldmine Assume you know, could be just for you if that's the case. So hello and welcome to another Goldmine 101, our regular series of short presentations giving you hints and tips for getting the most out of Goldmine CRM. I'm Tim Wilmot and my company with assistance, we're a specialist independent CRM solutions provider who help out mainly small and mid-sized organizations improve their sales productivity, marketing and customer service through the use of simple and affordable solutions. So this presentation will be about 10 minutes or so in duration, record alerts, very simple um, feature, very easy uh, feature in Goldmine. We do offer extensive training at Wizard Systems. So if you want uh, any more information or up your skill level with Goldmine, please contact us. Now, the audio part of this presentation, one way only, those of you on here live, you've got a question, pop that into the question section. I'll answer those as best I can towards the end. So a little bit more information about Wizard Systems. We are a leading provider of a number of different CRM solutions. We're not a one product company. Goldmine is a key product of ours in our portfolio. We've been supplying, supporting it for a long, long time now, and we provide a complete service around Goldmine, the product, upgrades, implementation, training, and ongoing support as well. Okay, so the record alert feature in Goldmine, very straightforward. When you come across a record, this is what it's going to appear like if I've created a record alert already. Up pops, I stumble across a record, and then up pops after a few seconds, a box, um, uh, a window there that I have to click on acknowledge or close it down to get rid of it, to go off and do something else. But basically it's alerting me to some very, very important information about the client. In this example, a bad debt. So you get a little sort of heading, a little sort of headline there, title, and then in the message box below on this dialogue box, you get a little bit more of a description. So it's a really great way using record alerts, really great way of improving communication within your company. These record alerts can help ensure that important information is communicated to the right people in a timely manner. As I say, they can't really escape this. It's really in your face. Um, you have to click on that acknowledge button or the cross button to move on and do something else. So you're reducing the risk of missed opportunities or really critical customer um, or critical issues with a client. Secondly, task management. Alerts could be used to remind users of tasks, appointments, follow-ups, or important activities that you need to do at certain stages with the, the customer interaction. So helps you keep helps you keep organized and efficient. And the main thing is improved customer service. So being alerted to maybe a way of handling a customer. Maybe it's a sensitive customer. Maybe when this client rings in, you should deal with Mary, not with Fred. Um, so it could alert the user for a particular process for handling this, this particular client to ensure that you're upping your service levels and um, keeping that customer loyal to you and keeping, keeping increased customer satisfaction. Well, how are these alerts created? Well, very simply, they're from the edit menu and record properties there and then record related settings. Then on this record related settings dialog box, we're nearly there, we click on alerts. And that's where you can see all the existing alerts. And this is where you could create a new alert. Basically, you give the new alert a three letter. Normally, the, uh, the process is creating a three letter code. So think of a three letter code, unique code. That's the, that would decide the sequence of the alerts in that alert window. An alert description a little bit more of a, a title, a headline for it. And then finally, a message in there, giving the user a bit more information. So you've got the headline, you've got a bit more information in there about what that alert is all about. Also, great out here, also you can have that alert logged in history when the user clicks on it. So you've got a 
you've got a sort of audit trail of your colleagues that have have definitely seen that alert and they've clicked on it, gone into history with their name. There's a kind of audit trail there. So you know which users um, have clicked on that alert or been alerted to this particular important information relating to a client. So that's the record alerts feature. Really, really powerful. Very easy to use, very, to, very easy to implement. Not many CRM solutions have this feature. And it's quite another unique thing that belongs to Goldmine to really help up your customer service levels and internal communications within your team. So if there's any questions relating to uh, this feature, please, uh, those of you on here live, pop that into the question box or um, pop it into comments if you're watching this on YouTube. A uh, question from Eric. Can you allocate record alerts across a group of records? Uh, I don't think so, Eric. Um, it's more normally on, done on a, a record by record basis, particularly as it may be that alert may be unique to that particular client. You could. I guess you could tag records or create a group and then you could just page down, page down, allocate the alerts that way, but no sort of global um, global allocation there. Uh, Patricia, how can you edit an existing one? I can't see how you do that. Well, quite simply, you go to the uh, knowledge base or info center in Goldmine and you will see a section there uh, for record alerts. You'll see them listed in alphabetical order, that's where you would change the alert. You, yeah, typically you might want to change the description, I guess, um, for that, and that's where you would do that via the knowledge base or info center, which we have handled. We have covered that on a number of other Goldmine 101 sessions here. Right, don't think there's any more questions. Um, so latest news as of October 2023, latest version of Goldmine is 2023.3. If you're not on the latest release, it's always advisable. If you're an active user of Goldmine, get on the latest release. It's going to make sure that you're well supported and um, compatibility improvements with any later operating systems, browsers, SQL, and so on. It's always a good idea to keep up to date to um, make sure you're on the latest release there. Uh, please contact us if you're not on the latest release. That's always done by a maintenance contract. So you must have a maintenance contract in place to, to um, get the latest versions. Do you fancy a CRM view? Have you been using Goldmine a long time? Have you got into maybe some bad habits? Do you think there could be an easy way of doing something? Or are there some knowledge gaps in, in the way that you use Goldmine or what you want out of CRM? Please consider um, getting a CRM review. Uh, commission us to, to a CRM review for you. Uh, please contact us, any of us here at Wizard Systems, if you want us to, uh, via remote session, Teams or Zoom, we can um, have a an online uh, frank discussion about your use of Goldmine and build up a strategy going forward for the next six months, 12 months of how you're going to use CRM and Goldmine. As always, if you've got any suggestions, if you're a Goldmine user and you've got any uh, suggestions for future topics for later Goldmine 101 sessions for Goldmine users, please drop us a line, tim at wizard-system.com. Happy to hear from you. There's our other contact details. We'll catch up with you on the next event. Bye-bye.